zero this one equal to the similar term so minus one okay into n minus two this is by n minus two or let me take n minus this whole square n minus four whole square this is by n minus four at x equal to zero okay this is minus one square here now there are two terms then it is square total n minus one terms is there but there will be half of them so let me write it here so this will be minus one whole power n minus one upon two into n minus two whole square n minus four whole square n minus six whole square and so on this is four square two square and by two zero by two zero is two so here I have to write here minus one whole power n minus one point two got ne negative transfer there again n minus two whole square n minus four whole square n minus six whole square and four square two square and this is two okay so into two this is the series we have obtained we can write similar or we can further summarize this okay simplify this that can also be done i have to leave up to this only this is the final answer of this so this is how we have to find out the energy derivative at x equal to zero so y and zero this is a very specific value for x a special value of x for that we are we are finding out ns derivation of these functions given okay now let me take third question question number third says if y equals to this is x plus under root one plus x square whole power n okay find the value of the different coefficient of y when x equal to zero. So n is derivation again. So y n again we have to find out what is this value. So let me differentiate again. The same process differentiating it with respect to x. With respect to x we get this is y1. Now power is n. This is a little type of polynomial function. And before that x plus n the root 1 plus x square whole power m minus 1. Now, because this is not x, we have to differentiate it again. This is 1 plus, here it will be half 1 plus x square whole power minus half into twice x to cancel out. Okay, this will give us m into x plus under root 1 plus x square whole power m minus 1. This will be 1 plus x upon under root 1 plus x square because this is half power minus so minus half power will come in the denominator 2 to cancel out so x upon this taking lc and this similar value will come again this is m into x plus under root 1 plus x square whole power m minus 1 within bracket we have x plus let me write x first then this calcium here this is under root 1 plus x square divided by under root 1 plus x square now this similar value to this 1 power this is plus 1 this is n minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 cancel out so similar term will be obtained this is x plus under root 1 plus x square whole power m only so this 1 power this is m minus 1 to m minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 cancel out divided by under root 1 plus x square this helps you here so this is what this is nothing but m into this is y value of y divided by under root 1 plus x square okay so if i this is the value of y1 okay we can write it as m y1 okay or cross multiplication after this we get cross after cross multiplication x1 plus x square into y1 equal to m into y if I square the both these sides, squaring both sides, we get squaring both sides. So let me take second equation. This is the first one. This is the second one. We call it is in y1. Okay. Now squaring both sides, we get squaring both sides, we get this is one plus x square into y1 square equal to m square into y square. Now differentiating it again differentiating it with respect to x we get this is 1 plus x squared first step as it is to multiplication process 
squares by one derivation of second is squares by one into y two. Okay, plus now y one square as it is, the fraction of one plus x square is twice x. This is twice x into y one square. By one square as it is, differentiation of one plus x square that means twice x equal to derivation of this is twice y. This is m square into two into y into y one. Of course, y is to be differentiated again. So it is m square into y two y into y one. Now dividing by twice y one. Now let me write this equation here because this is. The second first derivation. So first derivative is this. Let me write first this one plus x square into y one under square root equal to m into y. This is second equation. The third one we have obtained after dividing by twice by one. So dividing this, let me write here. Dividing it by twice by one. Both these sides, so we get what this is one plus x square into y two plus two into y one cancel out. This is x into y one equal to two two cancel out only m square into y. This is m square into y only y one and two cancel out. Okay, so this is the value. Now let me find out. The different value that x equal to for the nth derivation first. This is the fourth equation, the third one, second derivation. Now applying Lebesgue's theorem, finding out nth derivation of this. So nth derivation, nth derivative, nth derivative of it using Lebesgue's theorem. Using Lebesgue's theorem. We get in the mean term we get here. This is derivation of first step. That means one plus x square into y two is equal to this is one plus x square v as it is. This is y n plus two. Sorry, this is y n plus two plus n c one. That means n into y n plus one. Okay, into twice x. Derivation of one plus x square plus n c two that means n into n minus one upon factorial two into y n into derivation of y square is two only two to cancel out. Let me first further write it as one plus x square into y n plus two plus twice n x into y n plus one. This is plus n into n minus one. Into by n only. Okay, so this is the derivation and the derivation of first step. This second step. <coughs> Now, if I take this to this side, it will be minus. Okay, so let me write here minus sign. This is minus sign equal to zero. Okay, so all these three steps have taken to this side. Now let me differentiate them. So and the derivation of second step is one, which is x by one. Will be equal to below y n plus one. So this is x into y n plus one. Second step will be n into y n c one into derivation of x is one. So only y n is one. Okay, so these two steps are there. Now derivation of minus m square y. So nth derivation of minus m square into y is equal to below y n. This is minus m square into y n. Okay, derivation of y is y n, n of derivation. Now adding these, we get on addition, we get on addition we get this is zero in the left hand side. Some of these, this is only one term, one plus x square into y n plus two, as we always do. Okay, this is plus twice n plus one into x into y n plus one. Some of these three, this is minus n, n square minus n, and this is plus n. So n n cancel out. Only n square minus n square. It will be n square minus n square into y n. Okay. So this term I will write above. 
Now let me write it here. So that will be this minus sign. Okay, so plus. All right. Now let me write it here below this fourth step. So fourth step, fourth equation will be this one. This is one plus x square into y n plus two. Okay, plus twice n plus one into x into y n plus one. <coughs> plus sign. This is n square minus m square. Okay, into y n equal to zero. So if I find out the value of all these functions at x equal to zero, now at x equal to zero, the values shall be the values of y zero, y one zero, first derivation zero at zero. What is the value of first derivation? At derivative at x equal to zero. What is value of second derivative at x equal to zero? And y n zero. <coughs> Sorry. So all these values we have to find. Out. So now let me put in y y zero. So y zero or y at x equal to zero is one or is zero plus zero means one only. One is square is one. So y zero is one. This is one. Here it is one x zero x zero and the root one is one one power m is one so one y zero is one. Now what is y one? Let me write here y one zero. So y one is this equation. This is one into y one. This is y zero is one m only. So y one zero is m. Okay, equal to m positive m. And what is y two? At zero. At x equal to zero by two, the second equation. Here it is zero. It is one into by two. That means equal to m square by. That means m m square only. Because this by by zero is one. By zero is one. We have just found out. So m square into one. That means m square only. So by two is m square. Y one is sorry. By one is m. So all even and all all values will be calculated. From this, and what is value of n? In a derivation from this, sorry, this one. This is by n. If I substitute here n minus two, it is n. So by n zero equal to this is zero because x equal to zero. This value will be taken to that side. This is by n by n minus two. It will be n square minus n square equal to m square minus n square. Okay, but I have taken here n square as n minus two whole square m square minus n square into by n minus two at zero. Okay, now let me find out different values for odd even, odd and odd terms, even terms. What are those values for odd and even terms? So let me type them for odd numbers because by one is n. Okay, so this for odd terms when n is odd, n is odd number, like n equal to one, three, five, up to n minus two. So it will be, let me write here, by n for odd numbers equal to <coughs> this whole series. This is m square minus n minus two whole square in one bracket. Other bracket m square minus m minus four for the square and so on. Last step will be m square. If I substitute three in the last, it will be uh, this one three minus two. That means one m square minus one square. Last step will be into by one zero. Okay, so this is one. I substitute the final answer one. This is by one. By one is m. This one m. So I put right here. This by one. So replace this with m square minus n minus two whole square in second bracket m square minus n minus four whole square and so on. Last is m square minus one one square into m. So this m is there. So m into this whole value. This is the value of y n. For 
odd numbers for that. This is the value of y n for odd numbers. Now for even terms, we have to multiply by m square only in the last. For even terms, when n is even, when n is even, <coughs> okay, like n equal to, that is, or that is n equal to 2, 4, and so on up to n minus 2, it will be by n at x equal 0, that means n minus 2, sorry, it was m square minus n square, where it is, this is. So m square minus n minus 2 whole square into m square minus n minus 4 whole square and so on. The last step will be m square minus 2 square the end. Okay. So that will be by 2, 0. So that means m square by 2 is m square. It's on this one. So m square into, let me write this m square before. So m square or we can write it as in the reverse order m square minus 2 square and so on last step will be m square minus n minus 4 whole square and the last one will be m square minus n minus 2 whole square so these are the values of yn for even terms right or even even the value of n this is m square this n we have to just multiply them this this is the question number third Okay, now fourth question. Let me solve all these seven questions so that these values will be. I mean, how to solve the uh, okay functions for special values of x? That is the process here, which, are, which I'm describing. Let me take the fourth question. Fourth question is if y equal to sine of this, let me take and the marker. So, fourth question is fourth question is y equal to sine of a sine inverse x okay then find y n zero so again the same value y n zero we have to find out so differentiating it again differentiating it with respect to x we get this is y1 equal to differentiation of sine is what is sine cos is cos of a into sine inverse x but because a sine inverse x is not x we have to differentiate it again a into definition of sine inverse x is upon 1 minus x square. <coughs> okay, so this is there is now cos multiplication of this. So after cos multiplication, we get under root 1 minus x square into y1 equal to a into cos of this is a sine inverse x after cross multiplication. And root one minus x square are taken to the side. Now squaring both sides, squaring both sides, we get squaring both sides, we get this is one minus x square into by one square is equal to a square into cos square. This whole cos square a into this is angle a into sine inverse x. But cos square x is to be converted into sine inverse x. It will be a square into 1 minus sine square a into sine minus x. Angle is same. But this is 1 minus y square. This is nothing but a square into 1 minus y square. Look at this is y value of y. Sine square is y square. Okay. So a square 1. Now let me differentiate it. So this is this whole. For differentiating both sides, we get differentiating it this is let me take first equation <coughs> differentiating it with respect to x we get this is 1 minus x square as it is this is 1 minus x square into twice by 1 into y2 plus y1 is square as it is differentiation of 1 minus x square is minus twice x Okay, two step. Now in the right hand side we have a square zero. It will be minus derivation of y square is a square into y square. That means twice by into by one minus a square into y square differentiation of this will be there. For a square differentiation is zero. Only a square into y square. 
that the derivation will be twice by u into by one. Now dividing this by twice by one, dividing it by twice by one. Okay, we get y1 means first derivation, first derivative of y. So this is 1 minus x squared into y2. After dividing, this is minus x into y only, by 1. 2 into y1 cancel out. So this is equal to minus a squared into twice y1 cancel out only y. This is for y2. Let me take this, write it here y1 for y1 this equation let me write this here <coughs> for y1 this equation this is 1 minus x square into by u1 square equal to a square into 1 minus by square okay, this is second equation this was the first one for y1 could be written here no problem. Now this is third equation one minus x square into y2 minus x into y1. This is plus a square into y equal to zero. Let me take this third equation. This is the third equation. Alright. Now let me further differentiate it. And and the derivation of this will be by the help of or with the help of Lernish chart. So using nth derivation or nth derivative of it using Leibniz theorem same same process using Leibniz theorem so we get we get 1 minus f square as it is nth derivation of by 2 is by n plus 2 okay so we are finding out another derivation of this. Let me write here only. Uh, okay, this is dn into 1 minus x square into y2 equal to this. 1 minus x square into y n plus 2. Next will be n, n c1, that means n into y n plus 1 into derivation of 1 minus 2 as x is minus twice x. Third step will be n c2, that means n into n minus 1 upon factorial 2 into derivation into y n, derivation of minus twice 6 is minus 2 only. Three steps. Derivation of second step, this is minus x into y1. That will be minus x, this one, minus x into y n plus 1. Okay, minus x. Then again minus sign y this is n into y n and derivation of x is this is if i take plus sign here it will be minus one these two steps only derivation of second the third step derivation of a square into y is equal to this is below y n a square positive into y n now on addition on addition we get and addition we get this is zero left inside some of these this is the unique step so one minus x here into y n plus two these two steps with negative sign minus if i take common this twice n plus one into x into y n plus one some of these two now this two to cancel out with negative sign it will be minus now n square into plus n so n square plus n this is minus n okay this are taken as there are two negative signs here it is only one it will be plus it is sorry first will be negative first is double negative so it will be negative sign this is plus sign and this is plus a square sorry with minus a square i'm sorry this is because minus sign are taken common so it will be minus a square this is positive minus a square into by n this n n can out so n square minus a square okay so this is now let me write it here fourth equation
has the fourth equation n plus 2th this term is 1 minus x square into y n plus 2 this one minus twice n plus 1 into x into y n plus 1 and the last step is or if I write it as equal to there is no matter equal to let me write it as a square so this will be plus or minus and if you take that it will be n square minus a square into y n <coughs> okay now when x equal to 0 now at x equal to 0 let me find out different values so y n we have to find out finally for that we have to find out all these values by 0 so at x equal to 0 the values of the values of y by 1 at 0 by 2 at 0 and y n finally we have to find out so this by 0 is this 0 sign 0 is 0 okay so by 0 is 0 by 0 or 0 now what is by 1 let me find it from here this by 1 is a square only because by 0 is 0 by substitute here it by 0 it will be 0 so by 1 is equal to a square this is a square into this okay so by 1 0 I'm sorry if I take the square root of this it will be under root of this into a it will be a only I'm sorry by 1 0 but if I take the square root then it will be a under root of 1 minus y square okay but by 0 is 0 but into 1 will come out so a square into 1 only from a square root this is a only not a square but a so by 1 at x equal 0 is 1 this is 1 from so this is by 1 is square if I take y1 then it will be a only it is by 1 a then what is by 2 is from this one so y2 0 at x equal to 0 is what this is 0 is equal to minus a square minus a square into by 0 I'm sorry by 0 is 0 this is equal to 0 only by 1 odd number values will be there okay so we have to find out because by 2 is 0 so for even terms the value will be 0 of y n but only for odd number of terms we have to find out so odd number of terms from this equation so this is y n minus 2 if I substitute so it will be n only y n 0 equal to this y n 0 this is 0 this will be this value so this is n n minus 2 whole square minus a square into y n minus 2 at 0 this is the equation now in this if I substitute here if I substitute for odd numbers only the value will be there so for odd number of terms for any n equal to odd number or n is odd number n equal to 1 3 5 up to n minus 2 only that will be a into this is a value by one value so let me write here so the value final will be by n for odd number of terms will be n minus 2 whole square minus a square okay and second step will be n minus 2 n minus sorry 4 whole square minus a square and the last step will be 1 minus a square 1 minus a square last step will be 1 before that 3 square 3 minus a square or 3 square means 3 square minus a square or 1 square minus a square that means 1 minus a square into by 1 0 but by 1 by a so this is a into if I write a before that doesn't matter so this is 1 minus a square this is 1 square 3 square minus a square and so on last will be n minus 4 let me write here n minus 4 whole square minus a square last n minus 2 whole square minus a square by sub of sub or we can we could write this n sum first then the last term will be a into this okay so this is for all terms for even terms the same value will be zero that i'm not right okay 
this is for <coughs> odd number of terms. So this is value of y n fourth question. Now let me take the fifth equation. Fifth question is question number fifth. It, it says if y is equal to tan inverse y equal to tan inverse x then prove that what does x square into y to uh, twice x by one equal to zero. We have to prove to prove that this is 1 plus x square into y2 plus twice x by 1 is equal to 0. First we have to prove this, then nth derivation. Then find out nth derivation, the all values of derivatives of y with respect to x when x equal to 0. So that we have to find out. Okay, so first we have to prove this. So differentiating it. Okay, so let me take first equation. Differentiating first with respect to x, we get similar process. This is y1. The inverse x differentiation is 1 upon 1 plus x square. And so after cross multiplication, we get 1 plus x square into y1 equal to 1. Okay, so differentiating this further. Differentiating, let me take this as second equation. Differentiating it further again. Let me take again with respect to x. We get so this is 1 plus x squared first step as it is differentiation of by 1 is by 2 plus by 1 as it is differentiation of x squared 1 plus x squared is that twice x twice x into by 1 equal to this is 1 differentiation is 0 okay. so this is proved this is 1 plus x squared into by 2 plus twice x by 1 equal to 0 this is proved so first thing is proved so this second derivative now let me find out another derivative of this so another derivative of this another derivative of it by using or using using Leibniz theorem using Leibniz theorem Leibniz theorem we get there are two steps only differentiation of this first nth term so nth derivative or let me write here dn dn of 1 plus x square into y2 equal to 1 plus x square which is v as it is derivation of this y2 will be by n plus 2 plus n c1 that means n into y n plus 1 derivation of 1 plus x square is twice x plus n c2 that means n into n minus 1 upon factorial 2 into y n derivation of twice x is 2 only 2 to cancel out 